is Nicole Brandon. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. How are you doing? I am good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You just crossed the viaduct seconds ago. I did. You're not even out of breath. I know, right? <laughs> oh, you must be in shape. So are you a horse person? Uh, kind of. I grew up with horses. Yep. Obviously. Well, who doesn't like horses? Right. I mean, serious. <laughs> I got bucked off a horse when I was a kid. My uncle's farm. Yeah. And for the longest time, I was a little afraid of them. That, that happens. It's going to be absolutely perfect for the 36th annual Kenyan Carriage and Cutter Day. So Nicole, Nicole Brandon's with us. I don't know if I told you that before. How did you get involved in this? Um, I got involved about four years ago through the Kenyan JCs. Um, uh, Brian and Mary Hagen, they were they were head of the parade committee and all that, and they had came to us and asked us if they, we could help them, and so we took that on as a group in Kenyan, the JCs. Um, that group has been diminished now. So Tisa, St. John, and I kind of took on the wonderful deed of doing the parade. Oh, okay. And you did this last year? Yep, yep, yep. Brian still does the announce. Brian does the announcing. Yes, he does. Yep. yep. And I know you helped me arrange some interviews last year over at the fire hall. Yes, yep. Right before the parade. Yep. You know, it's a dirty, rotten job that somebody has to interview all those pretty queens. <laughs> right, that right. Come over. You know, I mean, somebody's got to do that. And it might as well be me. There you go. Don't you think? Absolutely. Why yeah, not? Might as well. <laughs> but there's more than just the parade, folks. We're going to tell you all about all the events going on during our AM Minnesota program today with Nicole Brandon. I have in front of me, in my hot little hands here, a parade route. Has it changed? Because nope, the parade route has not changed. Oh, okay, because they've noted a detour on here. Nope. That does not affect the parade route. That does not affect the parade route. No, it does not. Um, the detour is for people because we have to close off the highway, the main ah, street. Okay. The detour is to still get through town. Um, but, yeah, we are. they start up at Full Craft, and they end up in Full Craft, so they just come through town. All right. So it's the same parade route that it's always been. Yes. They go around, uh, for lack of a better term, they go around behind main the main drag and then come back across the main drag exactly yep yep and they'll come well they come down main street and then you go back up so they go west behind the main drag yep and they come east on the main street. yes exactly does that make any sense okay well i'm glad that makes sense because <laughs> i frankly was not following it myself there a little bit nicole brandon is with us this morning on am minnesota we'll again more details about carriage and cutter day coming up this saturday it is the place to take your kids or grandkids i guarantee they'll love the free petting zoo the free pony rides it's 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 just got all kinds of photo ops that you can put on your christmas cards who doesn't want their little one on a horsey on the christmas well, brandon's with us she's one of the folks that organizes the carriage and cutter day events 36th annual event going on in Kenyon this weekend. Traditionally, it's been the largest non-motorized parade in Minnesota. We hope to get it back up to that non, uh, the largest non-motorized parade. <laughs> You'll have to explain what that is. That is my niece, Charlie. She uh, she wanted to come and visit today. <laughs> she sure is a cute little gal. Yeah, happy baby. Yeah, they're the best kind. Yes. Parade begins at 1.30. Yes, it does. Yep, registration up till 12.30 and fold in the parking lot and fold craft. And there's all kinds of things that have well, changed over the years. I, I remember, you know, you can tell I'm an old guy. Don Kanaf yep. started this. Yes, he did. 36 years ago. Yes, he did. And I remember Don like it was yesterday. Just a great guy. And he wanted to make sure that this would be a free event. Absolutely. And it is. It is. It is a free event. Um, there is no charge for the parade, um, for error, for anything um, that has to do with the parade. Anybody that does go and join the parade and participates in the parade, we do go and offer them a ham dinner down at the fire hall. That is absolutely free, too. That is delicious. It is. We have the Kenyan meats. They come down and they cater the whole hog. Um, they'll cut it up right there. We do have a coach from Sugarloaf and Zambroda. That will take people from Foldcraft down to the fire hall and they will bring them back also. A coach. A coach. Coach bus, yes. Yeah. See, back in the day, I think they used to give them wagon rides. Probably. From Foldcraft to the fire hall. Now they've advanced to a coach bus. We have. We keep them warm. <laughs> wow. 
I didn't realize that. They get treated really like royalty. They do. Yes, they do. Well, that's fantastic. And they come from all over. I know in past years they've had people from as far away as Indiana. Yep. Um, the furthest that we have right now is Wisconsin. We have one from northern Wisconsin that's come down. Um, yeah, they, they come from all over, all over the state of Minnesota. Now, you've been going to this since you were a little girl, or do you grow up in the Kenyon area? Or? I grew up in Kenyon, yep. I have been going to this parade, yeah, since I was little. So, a few years. <laughs> you ever think you'd be in charge of it? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, n I never thought that I would be in this position, though. But I, I, I enjoy it. Um, my friends and I, we get together, and we it's it's fun. It's I like to go and have the community blossom like this and have people buzzing around. and It's fun. Yep, a lot of people come to town for it, and you're invited to head on over to Kenyon this weekend. It's on Saturday. The parade begins again at 1.30. Now let's talk about some of the other activities. I think we touched on them in the first segment. But, Nicole, there's a free petting zoo. Yep, free petting zoo and the free pony rides. Um, they have, that starts at 10 o'clock. That's in between the bank and the Third World Friends building. Um, they got the... The Gunderson House Tours, that goes from 11 to 3, 11 to 3.30. Um, we do have the free wagon rides that are going out throughout the town. That will be before the parade. Okay. I just want to clarify something here because the flyer here says that these activities begin at 11 in the morning. You said 10. The pony rides are coming in at 10. Okay. Yep, and everything else starts at 11. All right. Yep. Just so we clarify that. Yes. The yes. pony rides begin at 10. The petting zoo and everything happens at 11. Nope, petting zoo happens at 10 o'clock, too. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. and then um, the free, the wagon rides around town in the Gunderson, that all happens at 11. We had a, we had the pony rides and the petting zoo come in early this year. Okay, so get on over there early and take in, I mean, I'm right, aren't I? The, the, this is photo opportunities. Absolutely, more. absolutely. They they will have, they have, I believe they're bringing their babies, their baby animals over. Um, they've got a wide range of animals that the kids can come and it's a perfect photo opportunity. Do you think your niece is going to be going? I know she'll be there. <laughs> might a little young to be riding a pony. She might be. She might be, but uh, we can still put her up on there. Yeah, and it won't be long and she'll be riding that pony. That is true. That is true, yes. They're also in conjunction with the Carriage and Cutter Day, and I don't know how much in conjunction it is. You have a 5K event. Yep, they have the 5K on the Kenyon Park and Rec Committee. They go and they start that um that's that is that's they do that with it's in conjunction with us um but yeah that's to get out there and get exercise and have fun with that it's a 5k run or walk right it starts at 11 45 yep and you can sign up at the city ambulance building now there was a pre-registration fee is the fee the day of the 25 dollars yes yep and, that, and you get a shirt with that. You get a shirt. You get a whole. If there's a shirt, and then you get a packet of stuff, I believe. Yes. All right. Cool. So make sure you take that in, folks. Lots of things going on. The Shriners Clown Club, the Cannon Valley Shriners Clown Club will be there. I ran into a clown. I mean, literally. Really? In Kenyon last week. Yeah. I was in Jerry's Ace Hardware. By the way, there's a bake sale inside Jerry's Ace Hardware, and now for the life of me, I can't remember the name. Howgy and Emmanuel Lutheran, I think, are putting together that. Does that sound like it makes sense? That sounds like it makes yes. Okay. Yes, that rings a bell. They're doing it together. It's a fundraiser for their youth. They're going on a con to a convention or something, I think in Colorado. Okay. A youth conference. Yes. And so they do this bake sale at Jerry's Ace Hardware, and I usually, I hate to admit this on the air, but I usually go over there and buy stuff. Okay. You know, like lots of good baked stuff. You can tell it by looking at me, can't you? <laughs> I do. I love, I love the baked goods. And they're delicious. So you might want to pop into Jerry's. And he always has a big discount table at the front of the store of items. Yes, he does. And then uh, I know Larry Taji yep. is celebrating 40 years in business this week. And this weekend specifically on Carriage and Cutter Day. Um, yes, he is. So you can find some deals in Taji Jewelry, downtown Kenya. I'm sure all the other stores have big specials, too. I'm sure they do. They try to coincide that with carriage and cutter today. So do you, when you first organized this, mm -hmm. did you get a chance to meet with these businesses, or how did this? 
Um, just kind of do your thing and let them. We kind of just do our thing, and then we get together. I go to the Kaba meetings. We have um, at the Canyon Area Business Association. Kind of like their chamber. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then we go and just um, they. I let them know what I'm doing, and they nod their head and you know let me know what they're doing, and then we kind of help each other out a little bit. Um, I don't get together to for their specials or anything like that. So. And then you and your partner. Tisa. Do you Same. divvy up your roles? We do, we do, um, and unfortunately she couldn't be here today, um, but we do, and so it's 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 a lot to take on, but her and I, we get it done. No, that's cool. I know there's some other events going on too, VFW. The VFW, Sorry. yep, VFW, they have the silent auction for the, um, the ladies auxiliary for the fire department. Yes. That's, they have that going on down there. Um, also, Schweik's. Uh, restaurant and hotel, they are going to be offering hay rides after the parade, and they are also going to be doing a um, s'more roasting. And that where that destination is, that's still to be determined. S'more? Yes, yes. I so, didn't know what a s'more was when I was in my 30s. Really? It was like really sheltered in my life. <laughs> Seriously, I did not know what a s'more was until I got in my 30s. Wow. That's sad. <laughs> you should see, you should see Nicole now. Very saddened by that. Anyway, in the 36th annual Kenya, by the way, tomorrow, might as well plug tomorrow's show, we're going to be talking about an all-male play, and most of these roles are females, in Morristown. It's a hoot every year. It's a fundraiser. They donate all the proceeds to various projects around town. Just a great idea. A bunch of guys that uh, get dressed up like women. And are on this play, and you can imagine it's just it's just hilarious, is what it is. We'll find out what the play is this year. The play is going to be performed this weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll get all the details tomorrow when we travel by the Morristown Community Center and do our AM Minnesota show on the road at the Morristown Community Center. I don't know if that means we can't do the video or or what, but we'll figure that out later, I guess. Because you can watch this, you know. Oh. You're a television star. Nice. On the, on the web, people can watch this. Right, John? He's nodding his head. That doesn't work real well for radio. You know that? Right. So, Nicole Brandon is with us. <coughs> she is one of the folks that organizes the 36th Annual Canyon Carriage and Cutter Day. And the parade begins at 1.30. The activities begin at 10. At 10, yes. Most of the activities begin at 10. Some begin at 11. Be there in town before 10. In fact, I'd recommend you get there even before 9 or something and take in some of the stores and some of those great deals that they have in those stores. You'll be very, very appreciative of all the super deals that you will find. If you're going to participate in the 5th Annual 5K Run or Walk, obviously you need to have the right shoes and everything. 11.45, that starts with sign up at the City Ambulance Building if you haven't pre-registered. you don't have any idea how many people have registered? You know, I actually do not. Um, we I have not talked to anybody that's there. Um, I'm sure they, they always get a good turnout. So you must have a favorite event during this. Is it the parade or what's your favorite part of Carriage and Cutter Day? Personally. Personally, yeah. the parade. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy the parade. And your favorite part about it? Horses is when they all leave town. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all said and done. You know, I used to be on the Pooper Scooper Patrol. Yeah. 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 Steve Swiggin when he was the Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. And he always inter and he also always invited the governor. But for some reason, the governor would never come down. Governor. Okay. See, so Mr. Toonhorst, who was the mayor at the time. Yep. Mr. Swiggin, and then I. And usually your city administrator, and there were a couple of them during that period, would be on the pooper scooper patrol. Yeah. We've all got too old for that, I think. Oh, we, well, it, you could be. We do, we have the mayor, the mayor is doing it again this year, and we have the city administrator and a few other people that are coming. But now we go and we cater to you guys and we get you something to ride in. So we have a, a gator and a ranger. That we put the pooper scoopers in. No kidding, we used yeah. to have to walk the thing. Yep. <laughs> Man, it's a pretty long route. It is a long route. In a couple of years, it was cold. Mm -hmm. Very cold. But it was fun. 
It is fun. Yes, it's, it's good to get out and see the kids and so the kids can see all this and kind of keep a tradition going. Yeah, let's keep the tradition going. Get on over, folks, to Kenyon for the 36th Annual Carriage and Cutter Day. All the events taking place in Kenyon, <laughs> right in town. And there's lots of places to park, right, Nicole? There is. There's parking all throughout town. Um, get there early, find a good parking spot close to downtown. But right. not on the main drag. Not on the main drag, no. Because no. that's where the parade route goes. It is, yes. There's lots of other places. And I know some people, I know my folks, way, way back in the day, came and sat in their cars. Yep, to yep. Watch the parade. Sometimes, if you get a good parking spot, you can sit and watch. And that was back in the day when we used to broadcast the parade. Okay. We used to describe the Pertrins and the Belgians and the Clydesdales. I'm trying to think of all my horse breeds here. We used to have them down. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's always a good time. Now, now you mentioned that your favorite horse is the, did you say quarter horse? Yes. Yep. You don't like the big powerful Pertrins or the Belgians? And they're beautiful. They're, they're nice, yeah. You just prefer? I prefer, uh, yeah, I prefer a quarter horse. Okay. What is it about horse riding that you enjoy? Um, the relaxing. It's, it's just relaxing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. relaxing. <laughs> yeah, relax. No, you go out trail riding. We go out trail. We used to go trail riding a lot. And so to be out, just out in the woods, out in nature. Do you get going or do you just trot? Just, tr just, we just walk. Just pretty much trot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So take in the 36th annual Kenyan Carriage and Cutter Day Parade. That's this Saturday with the free pony rides and the free petting zoo and the free wagon rides. And those are all right downtown. Yes. This is by the bank, right? Yep. Petting zoo. The petting zoo, yes. Yes. The, the, the bank and uh, third world friends. And it's a favorite, I think, of a lot of people. It is. It's, it's a high, it's very highly, it's very popular. Yes. No question about it. In fact, uh, usually when I get into town, I take a peek over there and I see, gee, it's packed. It's Just absolutely packed. Yep. Yep. The kids love it and it's, they're busy from the time that they, they start setting up and they're busy because there's people in and out of there until they shut down. They do shut down at one o'clock. And Just, I do know that people will not leave town hungry. No, nope. They have the they have the luncheon at the VFW, um, and all the parade participants they get to come and have a free meal at the VFW or at the fire hall. Right. I'm sorry, yeah. the fire hall. Um, the Boy Scouts and the Lions clubs they have their food vendor, their food booths downtown. They have the broads. Yep. Yep. So the there's the wagon will be down by Jerry's usually. That's usually there. Yep. And then the Boy Scouts are usually in the bank parking lot in between the bank and Papa's restaurant. And the Girl Scouts have been downtown in past years, too. And I believe they're going to be back again selling their Girl Scout cookies. Yep. Yeah. So you can't beat it. You won't go out of town hungry, I guarantee. And of course, they have the restaurants in town that usually have some good specials. Yep. I know I know for, I know know for that um, I talked to Milty, the manager of the Kenya Municipal Liquor Store. They are going to be doing hot toddy specials all throughout the day, hot drinks. And then they also have a live band Saturday night. The local hooligans will be playing that night. At the Muni? At the Muni. Yep. And of course, the high school is having their play. Yes, they weekend. are. Yep. They you got know, that going on too. Saturday night and Sunday. So there's a lot of things going on in Kenya. I mean, we could be on for another hour. We could. Talking about all the things that are going on in Kenya, but Nicole's sitting here thinking, <laughs> I don't think I want to do another another hour with Gordy. <laughs> so, so we appreciate Nicole stopping by and making the trip over from, from Kenyon. And again, just want to note that the parade route is on the main drag, the second portion of the route. Does that make sense? It yes. starts at full craft. It starts at full craft. We wind, the wind, it's... It goes by the, uh, the rest home. Yes. Yep, we go down by, they go down past the Sunset Home, and then they come up on the boulevard. I'm going to start on the west end of town mm -hmm. and come east yes and come we'll come down the whole the boulevard all the way up to main street and that's changed over the years it's gone east it's gone west sure <laughs> but behind the main blocks of downtown is where it will start yep it heads west then 
goes by the Sunset Home and then comes east. Yes. Along the main street. Yep. Just so you know. Yep. And if they need to look at it, there is actually, there's a map on the city website page. Yeah, very nice map. Too. Very colorful. Yellow, yes. green. Yellow, yes. Falcon colors. That's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible falcon colors there, yellow, green. By the way, as long as I, I'm sure there are some people from Kenyon, there always are people from Kenyon listening to this radio station. I'm going to be broadcasting the Kenyon Wyoming Boys basketball game tonight. In the section tournament, they take on the number one seed, the Eagles of Maple River. So we'll be traveling to Mapleton, that's south of Mankato, so it's a bit of a haul. You can tune in on Power 96 Radio 95.9 on your FM dial, and here on KDHL we'll have Waterville and Eugene Morristown hosting Tri-City United. That's in Section 2, Class 2A, the South Subsection. She's a basketball fan, I can tell. She is. She'll be dumping the ball before you know it. You never, yep. Yeah, no question about that. <laughs> So in the final few moments, should we summarize, Nicole, exactly what's going on in your beautiful town of Ken? Sure. You want to run down all the activities? We have the Free Pony Rides and Petting Zoo. It starts at 10 a.m. in the Wagon Rides. They, I believe they start at 11. We got the 5K. That's at 11.45. Parade registration goes up until 12.30. They can come in. It's a first come, first serve if you haven't, if you haven't pre-registered. Um, we will get you in. You can come on in up until 12.30. Um, they got the, all the booths, the vendor booths, the silent auction going on at the VFW. Um, Schweik's, they have their, they'll have their hay ride after the parade. And, yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. I guarantee it. Canyon Historical Society is the tours of the Gunderson House every half hour from 11 until 3.30. You know, as many years as I've been going to Canyon, I'm ashamed to admit I've never had a tour of the Gunderson House. Have you? I have. It's beautiful. It is. They do. A, the, the Historical Society does a wonderful job keeping everything up. And, and it's been frozen in time, though, right? And this from, like, what year? Oh, you don't remember. Okay, that's okay. That's no wrong with that. You can get more details at the City of Kenya website, I'm sure, about the Gunderson House. But I, I am ashamed to admit that I've never been on a tour. We should even do an AMS sold out from the Gunderson House. There you go. There is an idea. Them ladies would they'd probably love for you to be there. Well, I don't know about the ladies, but some folks might love for, yeah. for me to be there. Anyway, that concludes today's edition of AM Minnesota. Nicole, we certainly appreciate you coming over from Canyon and bringing your cute little niece. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, I hope she enjoyed herself here in our spacious studios. Oh, yes. At KDHL Radio. So, the place to be this Saturday, if you didn't get the information here, the hint is Canyon. Yeah, yeah, that's the place to be. See, she says so too. The place to be is Canyon. This Saturday. Parade begins at 1.30 and all the activities start at 10 in the morning. 